Hello again everyone! Would you believe it? The sun came out and it's actually quite warm so as I have hardly played golf we'd best get out there Good morning! Fuzz has gone! Now I must admit, teeing off on the first in front of the patio when there's a load of people on it is a bit unnerving. So I've had my first lesson and I've done the right thing. Practice, play, practice, play, practice and now play. Now with all the changes I'm making I've actually got quite a large fault which is a huge block to the right and I think I second guessed myself there by aiming a bit down the left which shows I'm human if nothing else let's find this ball we'll see how we're striking it not too sure what the score will be is this it or is this a range ball? this looks like it the old seven wood is back in the bag so let's give it a go out of this rough So as well as a lesson and trying to make some changes badly also been a change of personnel so the hybrid is out and the seven wood is in now the hybrid is better at going through the wind but the seven wood is much better at getting over all the oak trees around Gloucester perhaps that's why I bought it in the first place all those years ago Mr Green let's get it up and down almost a chip in birdie but the game is rather fragile at the moment I've had my first lesson I've had a practice I've had a bit of a play and there's still some very very ugly stuff in there yeah that ugly now I can't reach the green from here certainly not out of this rough so it's just a question of Getting it down as close as I can. Well I've played three holes and now I've burnt my entire front line handicap and then you hit one like that and you wonder where on earth has that come from? I'd be another 30 yards closer in the summer and then you follow that great drive with quite frankly a piece of junk I haven't even reached the front edge of the green that's how poorly I hit it and sometimes the putter bails you out seven wood layup looking forward to the summer when the ground's firmer and even as little as a six iron with a bounce and a roll is plenty Far too hard. 
side. Well, this is a pretty typical golf after having one lesson, and a few practice sessions and a couple of rounds. Some good, some bad. You know, you, you hit a tee shot awful on two, and then on four, you nut it dead straight, even though you've uh, aimed pretty tight to the two ponds, and any mistake means lost ball. But this is why lessons are in the plural. You don't stop at one, do you? Because I might be underdoing what I've been taught, and I might be overdoing what I've been taught. We can only find out when we go back. Well, another par, so I suppose it's not looking too bad. Now, I thought this drive was good. But alas, it wasn't. It was considerably worse than I thought. I lost the sight of the ball in the sun. So knock it out with the eight. Get on in three. And this is the first of one of those ugly iron shots to the right. I honestly don't know where it's coming from. Still, up and down. Well, wrong hole, Simon. You want the smaller one. The one with the flag in. Now that bunker's G-U-R because of all the rain we've had. So I get a second chance. And we're going to stick in the second double bogey of the day. Good in the air. It's a seven. Well, I've avoided the trees on the right for a change. But yeah. there is that ugly shot Where again. Where the hell is that shot coming from? And I really can't work it out. And something tells me I'm not getting up and down from here. Well, instead of the usual southwesterly wind, we've got a little north wind. So I'm not getting over the pond today. So seven wood. And that hasn't gone very far. And there's the pond I would normally attempt to drive over down the wind. Five wood. Perhaps I should have had the five wood off the tee and the seven wood for the second shot. After two shots, I'm sitting pretty. On in three, no complaints. Just won't run out at the moment. Well, that was another skinny strike, which seems to suggest I still haven't fixed the sway. I mean, one, four, seven, six iron, downhill, and I'm that far short. Not bad. But the putter saves me out. 
wobbling. Well, another solid drive. And I don't know where that comes from. I don't know where the bad drives come from either. And I don't know where a shot like that comes from. This is the hardest green to hit on the course. Have to figure out on the first. Put for a bird. <laughs> just, just misread it. And everything is looking rosy again. Perhaps I just read it wrong. I don't know. Seven wood up the hill. Oh, I've just got under that and hit it a little high, so it's short. Yeah, it's fine. Just short. Oh. I've just quitting on it. I am just quitting on it. I don't know why I'm doing that. Probably because it's so damn soft. So all those good scores that I was making by leaning on my short game, well when the short game goes, it shows just how bad your long game is. Out of bounds all the way down the right. And another solid drive. And again you think, why am I hitting all this good stuff? Amongst all the bad stuff. Flag is on the right. On the top shelf. I'm on the bottom shelf. And I've not put it up here before. So I'm not entirely sure how hard to hit it. Um, not that hard. Another weak iron shot. I do feel I'm starting to get a little closer to hitting the irons flush, but not close enough. Still, it's a par. Under 14, going with the five wood. And that is straight right, and that is straight out of bounds. Where does so I get to have another go. I don't know. Well, that's better. Why didn't I do that the first time? I, I didn't do that the first time, I don't know. An appropriate Stick layup club. Out. Should leave me just me wedge in, or me gap wedge. I'm going to shove that up the right a little bit. Now this tree branch above my head should not be in the way. Well it was. Might be, we shall find out. Well, my favourite last four holes in golf 
start right here so hopefully I should finish a fair bit better after that triple now on the bank here I have learned a long long time ago you need to club up because if you don't you're going in the front bunker so hence a 9-iron that's bloody good So on 17, I aim right of the green. I go over all the outer bounds. And hit that. That's, that's a foot fat. Yeah, I'm not surprised I'm a bit angry this evening. Second go. Here we go again. Over the outer bounds. And just right of the green. Well, I can do it the second time. Why can't I do it the first? So on the green in four, yet another double bogey. Well, that's a tiny pull. That's on the bank on the left. And at this time of year with this kind of grass, it just doesn't come down. Wish me luck. Cheerio. On the beach. 